votes. I see no hands raised. Chris Hansen, register guard. Yeah, Revolt, can you just talk a little bit about both of these games the last this week and kind of what this fast start has been like for you guys? You know, it just come around quick and, you know, coach is doing a good job staying on us, make sure we're prepared every game, um, make sure we don't take our opponents lightly. Uh, Texas Southern and SMU are two, two good teams. <laughs> Zach Neal, Duckswire. Well, you guys got a lot of scores in this offense. How do you balance trying to come in here and really find your shot, but, you know, wanting to be a good teammate and make sure everyone else gets the ball as well? You know, I feel like we have a, a lot of good guys on the team, and nobody's really selfish on the team. And our coach does a great job of having an equal opportunity offense. In the offense, we run a lot of guys. You know, everybody gets a gets a chance to display their, their skills. And... James Krapia, the Oregonian. Father, can you speak to just your own ability to very quickly mesh with this team as so many new players, and it looks like you guys are not playing your second game of the season, but speak for yourself. How have you been able to fit in so quickly with this group? No, I think I fit in because I consider myself to be a, a jack-of-all-trades, versatile player. You know, if, I, if I'm not hitting the three, I'm going to crash the glass if, if I can't. If I can't hit my shots, I'm trying to drive, create a play for somebody else. So I feel like my game just fits in well with what Coach Allman wants in this system. Matt Preem, 247 Sports. Yeah, Rivaldo, what's more impressive today? Your offensive shooting percentage that you were above 60% for most of the game? Or Sorry, keep putting your Matt, you're really broken up. Okay. Sorry, I can't hear you. We'll go on to Zach Neal, Duckwire. Through two games, I mean, a big test is as a, as a new team, everyone trying to mesh together. You guys go up to Portland next week for a nice test against BYU. Do you feel you, like you guys are right on track right now, or uh, where do you feel you are as a team? Definitely confident in our team right now. Um, definitely a lot. We have a lot to work on. You know, nothing's perfect right now. It's only November 12th, you know. We got a lot of basketball left, a lot of games left, and a lot of opportunity to get better. And I feel like we can get a lot better. James. I know this is your first year at this level, Rivaldo. Do you understand and appreciate how big this win actually could be to this season? That this is a team that's been a top 100 team the last three years, and they don't suffer 23 point losses very often. My eyes, every, everyone's a big win. I'm trying to win every game possible, you know, regardless of the team in front of us. SMU is, is a great team with a great track record, but it doesn't matter who's in front of us. We're trying to win every game. We're going to go last question here. We're going to try it again, Pat, see if you're, you're, you're better off now. Is that better? Better. Okay. Uh, Rivaldo, what's more impressive for you guys, the 62% shooting you spent most of the half or most of the game, excuse me, or holding them under 40% shooting? What, what are you guys most pleased with? Uh, personally, I would say the defense, you know, as long as you can get stops, like you're always in the game. Um, you know, the coach has a great track record of when he holds teams under 70, 60 points. Uh, they have a great win percentage, and that's what we're really trying to do, lock down defensive end, because we know we have plenty of talent on the offensive end, and that will come throughout the season. Thanks, Ronald. Appreciate it, buddy. Congrats. Thank you.